What are Freedom Sounds Festival on the grounds of the Washington Monument kicks off three days of celebrations around the official opening of the museum. To catch the excitement, we're joined live by VOA's Haiti Adams Fitzpatrick, who is in the midst of the action on the grounds of the Washington Monument. Now, Haiti, the museum is opening to much fanfare. Tell us what we can expect to see today and for the rest of the weekend. Vincent, organizers here say the significance of this museum will make this an unprecedented local, national and international event, unlike the opening of any other cultural institution in the world in recent memory. And as you mentioned, this festival will run until Sunday tomorrow, of course, being the opening, the main event. And just looking at what's on the lineup, there'll be dance, poetry, visual arts, music, everything from hip hop to funk, folk music, um, blues and gospel. And just taking a look at all the acts that are lined up, Public Enemy, Roots, Living Color, Beninese Grammy Award winner Angelique Kijo. Also, we're expecting a slew of celebrities to make their way through here. Oprah Winfrey, for one, she has been this museum's biggest donor. There'll be Michael Jordan, um, Tyler Perry, and Denzel Washington, who, along with his wife, raised $17 million for this museum. President Barack Obama will, of course, tomorrow um, make a speech at the dedication ceremony. And in terms of the scope and size of this event, people are already comparing it to Barack Obama's 2009 inauguration speech. So even with the crowds, with the long lines, the tight security, I guess people are willing to bear it all because after all, they're here to celebrate. Vincent, the magnitude of the moment not lost on anyone here. Well, we can expect that. Now, Heidi, you know, you've been speaking to people around there. What are they telling you uh, that this symbolizes for them and what it really means to them personally? Well, Vincent, when we arrived here, we started speaking to a few people who have, of course, come out just to take some pictures of the museum. Some of them telling us, you know, this is really an important step forward in the history of America. Others just expressing their sense of pride and accomplishment to just be able to stand here and look at this building. You know, millions of people come here to the United States, to Washington, to see these museums. For school students here in America, it's almost a rite of passage to come to see the Capitol, to see the White House, and then the Smithsonian. Museums. And so many people here will tell you that this building is the one piece that has been missing from Museum Row for so long. Um, a place that really honors the contributions of Americans of African descent, not just those who came here as slaves, but also those who came here in freedom. A place that chronicles also their hardships over time. And the founding director of this museum said something so profound. He said, not just to Americans, but to people all over the world, if you think that this is not your story, then it is. So in a way, this is America telling the world, telling itself and its children that this is what this country represents, this is what it stands for, and now this building completes finally um, a piece of that picture. Now, in a few words, we know that in the coming days and weeks people visit, it is free to get in, but is it going to be that easy really? I'm so sorry to be the bearer of bad news. Of course, you can imagine many people have been clamoring to get access to this building, but reservations have been booked all the way through the end of October. So the museum, however, if you go onto its website, you can get a timed pass for November and December, but if you are planning to come here, plan accordingly. It's not going to be as easy as just walking through the doors. Aidy, thank you very much. Now that's uh, viewers Haiti Adams Fitzpatrick reporting live from the grounds of uh, the Washington Monument in Washington, D.C.